Very good morning. Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast show on this Tuesday morning live on SABC3. This is Espresso. Now, the city of Johannesburg is currently under level two water restrictions and with a demand for a rise in water levels just as high as the temperatures that side of the world too. Now, according to reports, if water consumption does not decrease soon, there will be even stricter measures put in place. And Hilgard Matthews, spokesperson for Johannesburg Water, is joining us via the telephone to give us a bit more insight. Hilgard, thank you so much for taking our call this morning. Thank you. Good morning. So exactly what kinds of restrictions have been imposed and which areas in Johannesburg have been hardest hit? All right. Well, let me answer the second one first. The restrictions that we have apply across the city. And uh, so uh, basically it doesn't matter where you stay within Johannesburg, you will have to adhere to the level two water restrictions. And uh, these restrictions, and I will come back to just answer in terms of the effect across the city. Yes. Um, and uh, these restrictions are basically that uh, no gardening, uh, no water watering of gardens are allowed between 6 uh, p.m. and 6 a.m. in the morning. And then uh, no irrigation system at all. None. Nada. Uh, because some are very clever, so they say, I don't have an automatic system, but I've got a small sprinkler that I just put on the end of the pipe. Mm -hmm. uh, so we don't want to even distinguish between is it a pipe or uh, whatever. As long as it's a sprinkler system, you can't use it. The other one is you may water the garden with a bucket or a handheld hose. Now, the handheld hoses, for some poor reason, it's because you cannot be standing there for the whole evening watering your garden uh, because a lot of the consumption comes from the automated uh, irrigation systems that you, you, you know you program mm -hmm. and it goes on automatically and it runs for an hour uh, and, and nobody's going to stand at 2 o'clock in the morning or 10 o'clock at night watering his garden that long. Mm -hmm. um, no filling up of, of pools. And what we mean by that is if your pool has been broken, um, for the past few months, mm -hmm. uh, no need for you to, 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 to fix it right now because it means you're going to use probably between 20,000 and 80,000 liters so. of water depending the size of your pool. And um, also no washing of paved areas and uh, washing of your car with a hose pipe. And uh, if you do wash your car, wash it on the lawn and wash it uh, with a bucket, uh, using a bucket. And so those basically are the restrictions that are in place within the city of Johannesburg. Yeah. Now, coming back to which areas have been affected mostly, yes. let me say across the city, everybody is affected equally, although in terms of the real effect, uh, water or no water, mm -hmm. over the past weekend when the heat wave uh, really hit us, we had uh, a few areas within Johannesburg that struggled with water supply. And it's not because we cannot provide water. It is uh, we receive 15% less water from Rand water. Mm -hmm. And uh, we put that into the system. And then users must then change their ways as well. And so as users, we are not. Uh, we're choosing to have more beautiful gardens. We're choosing to have um, lush green lawns. And that is more important than consistent water supply to everybody across the city. So there is enough water within the system. Uh, it's not a case of not being enough. And the reason we can say that confidently is that up until Friday, we had no issues, no, no problem across the city. Yeah. The moment that heat wave hit us and Saturday morning arrived, because we are all lovely gardeners, we just used all of that or most of that water on the garden. All right. Thank, thank you very much, Hilgard, for taking our call and just really giving us some insight into the situation right now. Of course, the heat wave causing even more complications right now. Thank you very much. Uh, that is Hilgard Matthews, spokesperson of Johannesburg Water. Now, if you'd like more information and, of course, some tips on how you can go about reducing your water consumption, do visit johannesburgwater.co.za.